Hello and welcome everyone to the short presentation to give you a quick overview about the QTP training program and the renewed option 2 where people are able to access the various recorded sessions which cover basic to the advanced HP quick test professional. So let me quickly walk you through this presentation and uh, show you a quick overview of what the whole program is all about. So we'll start with something called as the training focus. What are the areas that I typically focus on during this training? So we'll start with something called as QTP fundamentals as to how the tool works, what are the basics, what is the logic behind everything that you see, be it object repository, be it the VB scripting and so on. Then we move into what is by far the most critical component of your success in the automation testing field. And that's the scripting language that runs the tool QTP. So we will start with the very, very basics on VB scripting and go advanced in terms of how we can write our own scripts each time without having to use that record feature. Right? Then we move on to something called as the automation frameworks. Automation frameworks are all about how the industry works. So just with the knowledge of QTP and VB scripting, you have built something as an expertise of how you can design, implement, and then maintain the entire frameworks. What these frameworks are, what are the different types of frameworks, how do we start from scratch and build these frameworks for different types of applications is what you'll come across. Plus comes the advanced concepts. Advanced concepts are things like how can QTP interact with different types of databases or how can we do XML based testing using it or how we can uh, access the file system objects or uh, window shell scripting, .NET factory and many more other relevant topics. So that is primarily the training focus. Next, uh, I want to give a very quick overview about this option 2 program which is the recorded sessions. So primarily this option has started with participants who are attending my training worldwide from different locations. Not everyone due to either their uh, local timings or their work and other schedules are able to attend the live program. So the last couple of years as I evaluated these recording options I felt that this is by far the most effective way for you to get trained. And I'll explain uh, very briefly why. So what you would get as part of this recording options is access to over 80 plus high quality videos. These are videos when you play them in full screen will look as good as things are happening on your own system. Uh, these are almost uh, approximately about an hour each and they're not like the YouTube videos where they're just basic overview and you don't see the text clarity in them. These videos are of high quality and will be hosted online which will cover from the basic to the advanced HP Quick Test Professional. So we start with something called as day one, day two, day three and then we move on to different projects on different frameworks and so on. You will be given a 100 day secure online access. So what that means is from the time you register for the next 100 days you'll have access to these videos where you can go through each of these videos repeatedly anytime, any number of times and try and practice on the tool. QTP is all about practicing, how you can effectively put the practice, uh, the whole learning into the tool and try and practice on it. So these three plus months that you're going to put is going to give you an experience of someone who's really worked in QTP for about a couple of years. So having put in this effort, you would come across as someone who's really got the practical exposure to, to the tool, not someone who's got just a theoretical knowledge. The other things that will come across with this training option are group membership. That is basically an area where all the members come together and collaborate. You will also get a tutorial section. And as a new added thing, what you're going to get are this weekly Q&A session for about 100 days. So basically what that means, every week or once a three or four times a month at least, I will organize question and answer sessions. These are the sessions where you can log in you can show me what challenges or problems you're facing while working on the tool or practicing and so on or on your project and I will try and guide you as to what has to be done to make things work and so on. So this is an interactive session so for people who feel that just watching the recordings and practice their questions will not get answered then here is a forum where you can log in and interact live with me and get your answers to the various questions. So here is a quick snapshot of where the uh, folders and files are hosted for each of you and you will be given access to that 100 plus day for this folder. This is the folder where I'm continuously adding different batch videos. For example, September 27th batch, 
all the videos are here. Jan 20th batch, all the videos are here, and the May 2011 batch is also. You'll see the videos here. Apart from another collection of about 20, 25 pre-recorded videos. So in total, there'll be 80 plus videos. As the Q&A sessions happen, I will also upload those videos here. So you'll only see that this, uh, the number of videos that you'll see in this folder will keep increasing, right? Here is the overall flow of the topic. So we'll start with the basics, as I mentioned. Then we will go about designing and building the data-driven framework. We will then go into a keyword-driven framework and then into hybrid framework. As I continue to explain these topics, we will cover the other critical things like what is descriptive programming, how do we use them, what are ordinal identifiers and regular expressions, and how you can work with databases, Microsoft Word, uh, .NET Factory, and so on. Here is a quick snapshot of the discussion group. This is a community team where every one member for the last two years, there are hundreds of members in this forum, come together, interact with each other, try and assist and support everyone. It could be on various things like group studies or interview preparations or problems at job or problems or assignments uh, that you're practicing on, installation, trial version help and so on. So whatever question you may have regarding testing, you will see typically there are answers here or you can start a new discussion and you will see a lot of members um, trying to put in their best in supporting each other. Uh, here is another snapshot of the different files that I'm talking about. It's a great collection of different materials that you'll come across in the field of testing and automation. There are things around framework, there are things around tutorials on different VB scripting and advanced concepts. You will see different questionnaire dumps on ISTQB certification or HP QTP certification, different links on uh, interview questions, how do you prepare for interviews and so on. So all in all, what you see is an entire package of the end-to-end -end support that you'll need to get trained on HP Quick Test Professional. And so irrespective of where you are from your starting point, you could be someone who's absolutely new to IT software industry or someone who's moving into testing. The reason you still can take this course is because I assume that everyone is absolutely beginner into this tool. So I don't assume that you come from a specific background. I go from a very, very gradual manner and slowly increase the complexity of what is presented to you. Uh, what is most critical is I explain everything in a very layman terms. I talk about how we test any given application from a manual perspective and then we talk about how we're going to use HP QTP as a tool to automate it further. Okay? You could also be someone who's already working in manual testing for a while or looking to upgrade your skill to automation. Once you get into that decision mode, you know that your chances are tremendously increased either when you're applying for new jobs outside or when you're looking for a change or growth in your current uh, opportunities itself. You could also be someone who's already working in QTP for a long time, uh, but you've noticed that you probably have not focused so much on VB scripting or have no clue on frameworks or other important concepts. So these are the four typical categories of people who come and join my training program. Um, and here are the basics of why my training has been preferred worldwide uh, so vastly. Uh, team, on an honest level, the whole focus from my side has been that I try and give you a complete practical exposure. I do not focus on a theory aspect. Everything that I try and teach is going to be in a very practical manner on the tool, focusing completely on VB scripting and then how we build about frameworks. Uh, how the advanced QTB concepts can be um, understandable, how they can be presented in a very, very easy to understand and replication manner, okay? Uh, what kind of a tools I use to support you offline while you're practicing, while you continue to work on your projects and so on. And most importantly, the feedback I've got from hundreds of participants. You can find these feedbacks live on my website, qtpelearn.com. Please also visit the website to get an understanding of what the pricing is for these options and so on. If there are any questions, please feel free to write back to me at qtp.elearn at gmail.com. Thank you, everyone. Hope this short demonstration gave you a typical idea of how the whole training program works. Take care and bye for now.